the greatest athlete legends in the world. Not only great legendary icons in sport, but also those that give back to society. When you talk about ultra mega endurance, this guy's the man, David Goggins. It's all in your head. The most important conversation is the one you have with yourself. You wake up with it, you walk around with it, you go to bed with it. When your mind knows it's not gonna quit, your body will adapt to whatever is in front of it. Don't stop when you're tired, stop when you're done. Thank you very much. You know, I thought I was an endurance athlete until I learned about David Goggins. When you talk about ultra mega endurance, this guy's the man. He's a world champion, ultra, ultra marathon runner, ultra distance cyclist, triathlete, world record holder for the most pull-ups in 24 hours. He's a former United States Navy SEAL and former Air Force Tactical Air Control Party. David has competed in numerous long distance and running events over 100 times in these ultra marathons. His self-help memoir, Can't Hurt Me, was released in December of 218, and we had some of Arnold's security guys who were going crazy knowing that you're gonna be here to get the book signed by you. He was the subject of the book, Living with a Seal. He completed and broke the world record for the most pull-ups done in 24 hours, completing 4,030 pull-ups in 17 hours. Well, this is a huge honor for me. I'm extremely shocked, um, extremely shocked. I wanna thank Doc, thank you so much, Arnold. It's a huge honor to be sitting here and alongside with you when I was younger. I watched so many of your movies and felt like I was this big. Literally, not because of your size, but because of your, your courage and how you approach things in life. Fairfax, I don't know what to say, man. You literally, no one would know me up here if you didn't you know, say, hey, there's this guy out here who's doing things way under the rug. So for me, you know, I'm not a very known athlete. I'm not a professional athlete. I'm an underground athlete. Uh, I didn't do anything to accept these amazing awards. I did it because basically I grew up very tough, tough life. Uh, lived in a horrible place, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, got beat down so bad by my father that he beat the courage and strength out of me. So I had to find a way to kind of get it back. And how I did that was literally examining my, my soul. So in doing that, I started looking for the most uncommon people in the world. So it brought me into special operations, um, from the Air Force to the SEALs to Rangers. And along the way, I started realizing how powerful the mind truly is and how little we use of it. So when I was getting beat down, I thought I was nothing. I thought I was the lowest form on earth. And to develop my mindset, what I did was I started joining special operations unit, you know, looking for these courageous men. And I found them. And when I found them, I started realizing that it's all in your head. The most important conversation is the one you have with yourself. You wake up with it, you walk around with it, you go to bed with it. Eventually, you act on it. And my conversation was a bad one. So the people who I thought were up here in my life, these uncommon men, I was putting myself down here. But over a period of time, I started realizing that I'm also uncommon. And I started pissing those uncommon men off by realizing that we all have this ability in our mind. So I'm, I'm gonna leave you with this one short story. It goes all over the place. I was 175 pounds, went to 300 pounds, lost 106 pounds to join the Navy SEALs in about three months. So I lost that weight really quick, got in the door, went through three hell weeks, finally got through Navy SEAL training, graduated, went on the ranger school, so on and so forth. This is what kind of put me on the map as far as ultra running goes. You guys are, you know, some of you are familiar with the story, Lone Survivor, Marcus Luttrell. He's a really good friend of mine. If you're not, please get the, you know, the book Lone Survivor. I gained about 50 pounds back. I was about 250 pounds. This is a story about the mind. I'll go through it real quick. So I didn't put running shoes on for about nine months, 10 months. I was overseas deploying, came back with the free fall school. I was at military free fall school with Morgan the Trail, Marcus the Trail's twin brother. We got the news that an incident happened where everybody died and they couldn't find Marcus the Trail. So I got the call. My job was to tell Morgan the Trail, his twin brother, who was also a Navy SEAL, that his brother might be dead. Four days later, they found Marcus the Trail alive. What I did was I went online, Googled, you know, different events. Th this event came up called the Badwater 135, 135 mile race through Death Valley in the summertime. I 
didn't know that was even usually possible to run that far. I thought it was a stage race. I thought you'd like put your shoes on, ran 15 miles, set up a barbecue, camped out, and then did it again the next day. It was a 40-hour race. I went out there and basically to, to raise money for the Special Operations Warrior Foundation. So I called this guy up named Chris Cosman. Chris Cosman was a race director. He said to me, basically, you have to run 100 miles in 24 hours or less to qualify. I never run past 20 miles in my entire life, and up until now, I probably ran 20 miles this entire year. So he says, I call him up on a Wednesday. He says, you know what, there's a race on Saturday. And if you run 100 miles in 24 hours, I will consider you my race. So I wasn't real smart growing up, and obviously I wasn't real smart right now. <laughs> so I did the math, the math like a you know, less than a 15 minute mile. So I said, you know what, I can walk this. Dumbest decision I made in my entire life. <laughs> Went out there about 250 pounds, and I get to mile 50. It's, so it's in San Diego, November, so on a one mile track. Where you, where you go as, you know, as many times as you can around one mile track for 24 hours. I get to mile 50 in about 12, 13 hours. I sit down, I sit in this blue lawn chair. I saw my ex-wife every single mile. I got Ritz crackers and Myoplex with my nutrition. I was a muscle head, so I drank a lot of Myoplex back then. So basically, here I am drinking Myoplex, Ritz crackers. By mile 70, I haven't gone to the bathroom one time. No water. That Myoplex tastes like hell and the Ritz cracker is a ball in my mouth. This is where I really realized that, so I'm already a Navy SEAL. This is when I realized that we only use 40% of our mind. This is when I started going crazy with mindset and being a scientist of the mind. We go, I'm at mile 70, I look at my ex-wife, we sit down and I have to go in the bathroom for 12 hours, what must you do? Go in the bathroom. So I sit down and I look at her, it's the first ever going in my entire life, seven miles, I'm happy, I'm feeling good. And I can't get to go to the bathroom. It's literally for me to end the stage. So I look at her and I said, honey, do you love me? She goes, why? I go, because I can't stand up. My blood pressure's all messed up. I go, I'm gonna take a shit on myself right now. So I went back to my back and I started peeing blood down my leg. And my wife, my ex-wife's like, oh my God, you gotta stop. This is when I realized throughout my whole life, all the bad times, all the good times, you know what, I'm not gonna quit yet. Let me get better. Let me fix my blood pressure. Let me get some potassium, sodium, nutrition in my body. Let me see if I can fix myself. So I said, if I can just walk one more mile after being in the worst shape of my entire life, this would change everything for me mentally going forward. From this kid who came from dirt nothing, who couldn't read until he was in a junior in high school, and is now here, I went, I walked a mile. I said, hmm, maybe I can walk one more mile. Maybe I can walk another mile. At mile 81, my ex-wife looked at me and said, you're not gonna make the time. When your mind knows it's not going to quit, and this is what I found out, this is my 40% rule. When your mind knows it's not gonna quit, your body will adapt to whatever is in front of it. I ended up running 20 more miles. I did 101 miles in 19 hours and six minutes. And that one day changed, that one 19 hours, it wasn't SEAL training, it wasn't Ranger School, it wasn't Delta Force, it wasn't any of that crap I went through. It was just 19 hours and six minutes that forever changed my life to know that we as human beings are capable of anything. And we don't need any special kind of parents or tools to get there. So I end you with this. Don't stop when you're tired, stop when you're done. Thank you very much.